Hello, everyone. This is Entrepreneurs of Faith, a Sunday episode of Monetization Nation. I'm Nathan Gulliam, your host. In today's episode, we're going to discuss portions of a sermon by a church leader named Gordon Hinckley about the world's need for greater kindness. And we'll discuss how kindness can help us make a greater difference for good as entrepreneurs. Hinckley described the kind of world we live in today, saying, quote, I have wondered why there is so much hatred in the world. We're involved in terrible wars with lives lost and many crippling wounds. Coming closer to home, there is so much jealousy, pride, arrogance, and carping criticism. Fathers who rise in anger over small, inconsequential things and make wives weep and children fear, unquote. He continued, quote, let us all recognize that each of us is a son or daughter of our Heavenly Father who loves all of his children, unquote. With all the hate, jealousy, pride, arrogance, and criticism in the world, not to mention the wars and violence, we need to be kind. We need to do what we can to push back against all that negativity and show the world that there is still good in people. Galatians 6.10 reads, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, unquote. Amelia Earhart said, quote, a single act of kindness throws out roots in all directions, and the roots spring up and make new trees, unquote. We can drive our businesses forward through acts of kindness. Daniel Lubetsky, founder of the New York-based company Kind Snacks, does this. He takes the subway to work every morning, and when he sees someone commit an act of kindness, he gives them a kind of awesome card, which is an invitation to enter an online code to receive free kind bars. He also gives them a second kind of awesome card to give to a selfless stranger. Source, be the change.com. The gesture is part of a company-wide cause marketing movement to trigger a chain of random acts of kindness around the world. It has generated more than 1 million acts of kindness. This kind of tactic creates loyalty in existing customers and awareness for potential customers. Source, be the change.com. Strategies like these are great ways to spread kindness and help our business. They show customers that we care and we are willing to put in effort when it comes to being a good business. Instead of being ruthless and uncaring in our pursuit of profits, we should focus on being good to our customers and community. We can only do this Quote, when there is kindness, respect, and love, unquote, Hinckley said. When the pandemic hit the world, there were many people and businesses that were impacted negatively. Some businesses had to close, causing people to lose their jobs. Many have been directly impacted by the virus, and we all had to adjust to doing things differently. However, some businesses saw this as an opportunity to do some good. For example, Wild North Flowers, a company based in Toronto, was forced to transition to an online-only model when the pandemic hit. Though the business took a hit financially, Jennifer Fallow, founder and owner, did what she could to make a difference in the community. Source, Shopify.com. Previously, the company had a monthly tradition of a nomination-based flower giveaway. Fallow turned this into a daily giveaway to workers on the front lines. Fallow said, Quote, with the COVID-19 pandemic turning our worlds upside down, this kind of gratitude is more important than ever, unquote. The company also donated prepaid flowers that were from canceled events, source shopify.com. Another company, Somersault, found a different way to make an impact. Somersault is a brand dedicated to joyful moments like swimming, traveling, sleeping, and lounging. However, its apparel basics were also perfect for those who have had to isolate, something that usually isn't a joyful moment, source shopify.com again. In response to COVID-19, quote, the brand launched Joycast, a free SMS-based emotional support hotline that connects those in isolation with members of their team who text back positive diversions, a meditation video, a self-care tip, or puppy gifts, unquote, source shopify.com. While the pandemic has been hard in different ways for everyone, we can be a force for good through sharing kindness. In Hinckley's sermon, he went on to describe numerous humanitarian efforts happening throughout the world. He described, quote, volunteers reaching out to supply food, clothing, and other needed items to those in distress, and, quote, lifting thousands out of the slew of poverty 
and into the sunlight of knowledge and prosperity, unquote. J.K. Rowling, who has lost her billionaire status from the millions she has donated, has said, quote, you have a moral responsibility when you've been given far more than you need to do wise things with it and give it intelligently, unquote. Source, lifehack.org. Quote, there is no end to the good we can do, to the influence we can have with others, Hinckley said. Let us not dwell on the critical or the negative. Let us pray for strength. Let us pray for capacity and desire to assist others. Let us radiate the light of the gospel at all times and all places, that the spirit of the Redeemer may radiate from us. In the words of the Lord to Joshua, Brethren, be strong and be of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God will be with thee wheresoever thou goest." Unquote. Here are some of my key takeaways from this episode. To read or watch the full sermon, uh, you can click on a link in the post in the blog for this episode. Number one, the world is filled with all kinds of heartaches and heartbreaks. We need more kindness to fight against that. Number two, kindness grows roots in all directions and the roots spring up and make new trees. Likewise, our actions of kindness can spread and multiply. Number three, when we are blessed with more resources than we need, we should give back and help those who need it. If this episode of Entrepreneurs of Faith resonated with you, please subscribe for free to Monetization Nation so you can receive future episodes of Entrepreneurs of Faith. Number one, you can subscribe for free to the Monetization Nation e-magazine at monetizationnation.com. Number two, you can subscribe to the Monetization Nation podcast and YouTube channel. Number three, please follow Monetization Nation on Instagram and Twitter. What is the best example you've seen of a business sharing kindness? Please join our private Monetization Nation Facebook group and share your insights with other digital monetizers. Thanks for joining me for this episode. I wish you success in your efforts to spread a little more kindness.